Hi, okay. This is the uh, video instructions for a four-door sedan. Cars, trucks, they're pretty much the same, but there are a few differences, um, so we're just gonna do a set of instructions for cars as well. First thing we'll do is we'll put on the front seats. I've got my cushion, whoops, got my cushion, and I've got my backrest. Um, I wanna make sure I've got the right cushion. Uh, usually what you do, put it on the cushion. One's gonna fit, one isn't gonna fit. And usually what happens is you have the, the inside is generally gonna be deeper, the, the inside of the, of the cover is gonna be deeper on the inside than on the outside because it generally tucks into the plastic around the side of the seat. So first thing I do is I check and see um, that everything fits. As you can see, this is a, this is a dirty seat. You should put seat covers on before it gets to this point. Um, I put it on, I, I place it on there, tuck it back a little bit, make sure all the seams line up. Everything seems to line up, so I've got it on the right side. Then, tuck her back here, tuck the, uh, the back tab through there. A lot of times we have uh, Velcro along here, so that it, if it will Velcro to the back of the seat behind here, because I can stick my hand right through here. Um, this one here doesn't have carpeting, to, for that Velcro to attach to, so we've placed elastics. Quite often there's gonna be three. Um, in this case, there's only two. So we just give that a tuck through there, tuck those back so that when we, uh, when we go back there, we can see them. And uh, on here, again, uh, if you've gotta use your intuition a little bit here and your common sense. If it looks like you can get it down through here, take this tension cord and put it through there. If you can get it through, the, the lower down you can get it, the better, because that pushes this whole, this pulls this whole edge down there and keeps from flipping up. If you can't get it through there, just take it and put it through, through between the backrest and the cushion, and then pull it down to the side. Um, I'm looking in there, and it looks like I can get it right through here, so that's where I'm gonna put it, and that should be just fine. Take the other one, put it through there, and then check and see what's going to happen here. So I tuck everything down. There we go. It takes a little bit of fidgeting, a little bit of shuffling, a little bit of getting things right. And that looks like pretty good. Now I've got one elastic up here and I've got two on the sides. I'm just going to go ahead and attach those nice and easily. Um, need an S-hook. Got my S-hook. I have the small part and an open part. I usually put this part around the elastic like so and then tuck it underneath and underneath your seat there's going to be lots of little places for you to uh, to hook it. You want to go underneath and take a look that's fine. If you can just do it by feel that's fine too. If you are going to put it look underneath and even when installing I, I always encourage you to wear uh, eye protection. Again it, these are elastics and they're little metal clips and uh, it just, just in case. I don't wear them, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Clicked on there, nice and easy. I got the other two on there. Let's go to the back of the seat and, and you smooth it out, looks nice. Let's go. Okay, so here we are in the back of the backrest here. So I've got my S-clips ready to go. I've got my elastics hanging down here. Reach underneath, get a good tension, and attach them. Reach underneath, another one here. And you can feel you get a pretty good tension from these elastics, so two or three does it just fine. There we go. Now, the bungee cords. Take these. You get your two bungee cords, you can find the other one that you tuck back here. Actually, you know what? Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Pull them nice and tight. If you find that you have an, uh, too much slack, like here I've got a bit too much slack, so what I've done is I've tied another loop off right here. I take my S hook, which I've got here. A lot of editing on this one. Okay, a lot of S hook here. 
take it and pull it around. We'll do that whole one over again. Okay, here we are at the back of the seat and we're gonna attach the back elastics and the, uh, and the tension bungee cords back here. First thing I like to do is I do the bungee cords first. Here's the one that we stuffed in through the back. I pulled it as much to the side as possible to get it down in the side of the cushion and I grabbed the other one that I've placed over here. Now, what I found is I had a bit too much. I pulled it nice and tight so I could, it sucks the whole edge of the, of the seat cover in. I found I've, I need a bit more tension, so I've tied another loop off here. And that's just fine because you're gonna be able to tuck this underneath and you're not gonna see it at all. So I take that, attach it with my S-hook, and boom, there it goes. Now what I do is after I've done that, I take that, that bungee cord and I tuck it up underneath the flap that, uh, that I've had come down, that we tucked in through here. And now we can go ahead and take those two elastics that came off the back tab, and we can wrap that, wrap them under, and we're gonna go right over top of the bungee cord to hide it. There's one, and there's two, nice and easy. Okay, now I've come back to the front again, and I'm just gonna make sure everything's good. You can see it's all pulled nice and tight. Those bungees are holding it down nicely. Um, what I like to do as well is I take the edge and I tuck it into the plastic. It gives it a nice little hold and uh, just makes it look a lot better. And there we go. Nice and done. Now we'll do the backrest. Okay take off the headrests, first thing you do. If you've got adjustable headrests, you got to take them off. If they're molded, just leave them, they're not going anywhere. And we'll design it so it'll go right over top of your headrest. Okay, pull up. Every headrest goes to a certain point and stops. You have a button, and a lot of times you have a pinhole in here. You put a pinhole, uh, a pin or a paper clip in there, and pop it out. This one here doesn't have one, which is nice. So we'll just pull it out. Then we take our backrest. 